Hey, it's Lucy. Hey, it's Lucy. Hey, it's Lucy. I am now a second year PhD student. I am now a third year PhD student. I am now a fourth year PhD student. I can't get excited about it, I'm sorry. I've got six months left to go and that's good. I'm okay about that, I don't feel too worried. Um, but I haven't posted here since November because I've had a really tough few months. And as a channel called The PH Diaries Documenting PhD Life, I suppose it would be disingenuous not to talk about why. And the PhD suddenly got hard and it had always been hard and that was fine. Well, all of a sudden it became hard and not fine. I know why it happened, I think, and I'm going to tell you because it's applicable to everyone and seems kind of obvious in hindsight. I hadn't been on holiday in six months, hadn't really had a break in six months, hadn't really had a weekend off, and I wasn't getting enough sleep because of a noisy neighbour. It's actually really simple. Every night you can't recharge because you're not getting enough sleep, so the next day is a little harder. So then things start piling up and getting more and more on top of you. So then you feel like you can't take time off because you've got so much to catch up on. I'd also set myself the stupid task of cramming in as many experiments as possible before Christmas, which led to me sampling every single day in the lab for 30 days straight. I burned out. Obviously. So what do you do when you burn out? How do you break the cycle? You go home. I went home to my parents for a month. I had my own silent bedroom. I installed remote desktop. I wrote my thesis in peace. I went running every night to watch the sunset by the beach, and I recovered. Hard reset. Complete change in environment, complete change in company, complete change in work tasks. I don't even want to say workload because I still got tons done, but it was organising data, and it was writing, and it was sitting in an armchair, chain drinking tea, not in a lab, stressing about experiments exploding in high temperature ovens. and. It worked. I'm back now and I'm still in the same situation. I've still got a thesis to write, I've still got the noisy neighbour, but I feel a bit calmer now and more in control. I'm making a point of taking holidays, just weekend breaks to get me out of Oxford, and I'm making a point to exercise more because running brings me genuine joy, and I'm sort of trying not to let stuff get to me. The funny thing is, at this stage of my PhD, I actually feel less stressed than I did last year because I've kind of done everything that I can do. Right now it's just a stage of interpreting the data and writing everything up and tying up loose ends and just making myself proud. I really hope you don't get yourself in the situation I was in last term where you're in a hole and notably digging yourself deeper and deeper every day. Ideally, don't let yourself get there in the first place. Get enough sleep, take time off, and so what if you don't get that last experiment in if it means you're not burning yourself to the ground? It sounds patronizingly obvious, but here I am having done exactly that last term. How straightforward can it get? Take time off, get enough sleep, but here I am. Do whatever you can to make sure those things happen. Move flat if you're not getting enough sleep. I have actually done that before and I will do it again if things start getting really bad again. And so what if you lose a cumulative week off to you know, going away a little bit, if it's what keeps you sane. Look after yourself. What really struck me last term was how many people came up to me and quietly asked, are you okay? Listen to them, talk to them, and ask for help. I didn't. I was stupid. I let it get as bad as it gets, and I don't want anyone else to go through that, and it doesn't need to get to that point. Look after yourself. Skip the burnout phase and go straight from realising you've got an issue to stopping it in its tracks to recovering. That's all that needs to happen. Oh, and buy silicon earplugs, workman's ear defenders, and a fan for white noise. It's uncomfortable, but it helps. Thanks for listening. My name's Lucy Kizik. I'm a fourth year PhD student at the University of Oxford, and take care.